I have the Galaxy S23 Ultra here and the Galaxy S24 Ultra is here. Both of them are running the latest One UI 6.1 update. Here we do have the September patch, just arrived a couple of days. On the S23 Ultra, I'm using the August one. I am using the highest available resolution available on the phones and you can see that the motion smoothness is set to adaptive. Also, the adaptive brightness has been turned off. I'm using 50% of the brightness on both phones. Inside the navigation bar, there is the more options. On the S23 Ultra, I'm not able to disable the gesture hint, so I'm just gonna leave it on all these phones. All phones are connected to Wi-Fi, 66% of the battery for the S23 Ultra, 80% for the S24 Ultra. But what is the goal and objective of this video? Well, if you have been following my channel, you know that I am really very much obsessed with um, animations and a stutterless, lagless interface. And quite often I do test all these phones, well, iOS and also Android, ColorOS, HypoOS, EMUI, the One UI, Origin OS, so whatever I can really get my hands on. And we kind of know that there is a problem with Samsung animations, and this problem is, as I think, about consistency. It's not that the animations are bad, but the problem is that when you try to execute one animation several times, sometimes it's a hit and miss, which means when you do it 10 times, sometimes eight animations are just flawless, sometimes maybe just five, which is, again, a problem with the consistency. For this video, I'm gonna use a little helper. This is the automation click up. What it's gonna do is, it's going to simulate me clicking on the screen. And the delay time before performing the next action is gonna be 300 milliseconds, okay? So it's a third of a second. And let me actually show you, I'm gonna start it. As you can see, both phones are doing the exact same thing. We are opening the social folder first, then we are opening the X or Twitter application. Then we just wipe up and go back to the home screen and this repeats. So and now I hope that I've managed to explain what we are doing here. Let me put a timer and let me do five minutes of this. After this, we're just gonna see if there are any big difference, any discrepancies between the S23 Ultra and the S24 Ultra. All right, let's put a timer on and let's see what happens. As you can see, I'm also using the very same wallpapers, but of course with a different accent color to just be able to compare, you know, apples with apples, or in this case, Samsung with Samsung's. And by the way, no, that's not the panel up. I'm using wall rod and lunar apps. Please check them out. And yes, they don't really cost $50 subscription per year. Now, what I do notice is that these animations now are not in sync, which is totally normal but I do believe that they are executed in exactly the same way. So no discrepancies whatsoever right now. You can see, although one seems to be a bit faster than the other, I do believe that they are very much on par. We are already doing this test for two minutes. And as we can see, the consistency on both phones is excellent. And also there are no big discrepancies. Now I have a feeling that the S23 Ultra is somehow a bit quicker I'm not even sure why, this is just how it looks to me, but I would love to hear what you think down below in the comments. Now guys, I'm gonna spice it up a bit. How? Well, I'm going to go and reduce the delay time before the next hit. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna put 200 milliseconds for the first, 200 milliseconds also for the second touch, 200 milliseconds also for the third touch. And I'm also going to reduce the swipe duration from 500 to 300 because I tried with 200 and this just doesn't really work. So 200 is gonna be quick enough. So let's just go back on the home folder and restart the activity. And as you can see, now it's really, now we're talking. We do have five seconds left from the first test, and I do believe that the first test is rather successful. No big discrepancies on both phones, all right? Let me show you a cool trick. I can do a pinch gesture and stop the timer. Now let's test Instagram. I have opened Instagram to the very same post on both phones so that uh, the conditions are equalized. Let's see how this is gonna go. We are already doing this test for four minutes and it seems, guys, that the S23 Ultra animation cycle is somehow quicker. And now let's add just some spice to this. We still are gonna open Instagram and then go to the camera viewfinder, right? Go back to the post and back to the viewfinder and see what happens. Mm. 
And as you can see now, it's really different. So the S23 Ultra has the 8th Gen 3, so it's just a bit faster, I guess, at doing things like this. And remember, every time when we go from an app like this, 120 hertz refresh rate drops to 60 hertz, and we know this because when you involve the camera viewfinder, the phone drops the refresh rate from 120 to 60 hertz, and you can enable this from the developer's option. And now let's try something else. We're gonna be opening the camera, going inside the settings, you're gonna be turning one setting on and off, and then just go back to the viewfinder and see how that works. Remember, we're using the same delay timers on both phones, the S23 Ultra and the S24 Ultra. And after some minutes of testing, it really seems that both phones can do this consistently. There are no stutters, not at least big ones, no lags whatsoever. All right, guys, this is an interesting scenario, and I'm not sure if the gestures are somehow set up differently. They might be, but there is a glitch. Can you see it here? Boom, all right? Here, you see how it's moving up and down? which doesn't happen here on the, the S24 Ultra. So I just want to test this a bit. To be sure that this is a bug, I want to place uh, the going back to the home screen here so that we are not touching the navigation int. So I'm just going to put it like this and uh, let's start one more time. We're going to simulate a swiping back from the camera to the home screen, but we're going to start from the left side. We're using the same gesture sensitivity, guys. Yeah, again, we have this jumpiness. Now, what I'm gonna do, guys, now, I'm gonna try to do this by hand. So let me just remove everything. So I'm gonna open the camera and just try to do this again by hand and see if this is gonna happen. When I do it by hand, it's okay. But even now with the standard settings that are just a bit slower, sometimes we have like this jumping up and down and I don't think that's okay. But let me know what you think down below in the comments, guys. And it's really flawless on the S23 Ultra. So let me know what you think down below in the comments, guys. It seems that most of the things are circa the same. This discrepancy was the only one I was able to identify and i'm not sure if that's the software or let's say it's just the app that i'm using or something with the gesture hand let me know what you think down in the comments stay safe vst over and bye